up with a performance that he went he went above and beyond the call of duty. Eddie, with that said, why didn't he do a second day weigh-in to even out the score? Because a lot of times when a guy doesn't make weight, they say, you know what, all right. Because like, there may have been a legitimate reason. But I've also seen other situations where you do a morning of weigh-in to balance the scales. That your guy was a welterweight tonight. Is that really a fair fight? No. Well, he wasn't a welterweight tonight. Because, 142.2. No, no, no. You don't, have, you don't have a welterweight tonight. There's no one in a weight class that's the same weight tonight. That's right, ridiculous. but your guy was 142. Yeah, but he, he weighs 140 every time he fights. So he was two pound over. Is that when he makes weight? Because one yeah, guy yeah, had to make weight. So you're saying that you think that Oscar Valdez had an easier time with what he had to do, stretching himself out. The last couple of pounds were the toughest. Yeah, yeah hold on, hold on, hold on, Steve. Our boy had to go for a camp with a, camp with a stress fracture in his foot trying to make weight. Right. He, he, he was in a terrible physical condition on the scale trying to make weight. Trust me, it was no benefit to him having that camp that he had and stripping himself down to try and make weight yesterday. So Trust Eddie, me. you'll be consistent the next time one of your fighters has a guy that doesn't make weight, you'll say, you know what, we don't need to have a morning of weight. Well, so every, every situation is different. And my job is... <laughs> yeah, your situation. Sure, because here's the thing. The guy has a broken jaw. It was a rough fight. I, I congratulate both guys. I like Scott. But I do think it's a little bit of an imbalance when one guy makes weight, right? One guy doesn't. Your but, but guy then, didn't come close. But, That's the other thing. Yeah. So now when you weigh in again, if one guy has to kind but, of but stretch Steve, himself Steve, to make Steve, the last couple Steve, of rounds. Steve, you, you need to speak to the commission and maybe get some rules in place. The situation is, we were asked to weigh in on Saturday. Scott Quigg said, I'm not doing it. Okay. Okay. Eddie, Eddie. Right, I, listen, Do I, I think that's right or wrong? You know, I don't think it was wrong of Top Rank or uh, Valdez's team to request it. It's very normal to request a second day weigh-in in, in that instance. Right. Scott Quigg said, you know what? I've had the worst camp going. I've stripped myself down to make its weight. To be honest with you, if, if the fight's off, the fight's off. All right. Well, the last thing, I don't want to hijack this whole thing. So would you have had a problem with the Espinosa camp? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you're right. No, go on, I like this. If, if, if yeah, Valdez yeah. would have said, you know what, okay, you don't want to do it, walked away, would you have been okay with that? Would you have understood their reasoning if that was the decision? Um, having known what they probably knew, I would have been very surprised if they walked away from the fight. Okay, fair enough. Having, know, having known the camp, because they knew the camp that Scott Quick had, and they knew that he wasn't in the best shape he could possibly be, and they knew that he was struggling at the weight all night and all day yesterday. So it wasn't like, but, but just believe me on one thing, it wasn't like Scott Quigg woke up and said, oh, you know what, I'm not going to make the weight, I won't try, because I witnessed him try, and it wasn't pretty. So he's a very stubborn individual. I don't necessarily agree with him refusing a second day weigh-in, and I honestly believe that if he would have not been through what he went through in camp, he would have done the second day weigh-in. But it was a situation where he said, listen, I'm not, I've had enough. Okay. I've done everything I can to be here and to try and make the weight, and I'm not going through it, trying to hold my weight and, and do it again. Okay.